Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to host your bot on Heroku. Okay, so uh, the thing is, Heroku only provides 550 hours per month. So to do this, you might have to use two accounts. Because how many... Let me just check uh, how... Hours in a month. So it gives you 550 hours. You just have to do this for two accounts and then you can... Uh, be good to go so we miss out on 200 hours uh, which is a little bit but I'll teach you guys um, how to get over this okay so the first step we're actually gonna publish to github so if you don't have a github account this is called a github okay if you don't have a github account just make sure to create a github account it's free and it's already uh, very reliable okay then once you're in Visual Studio Code okay so this is my project currently so the first step for this is I'm gonna Publish this to GitHub. So by default, um, if you're using Visual Studio Code, um, you should already see this option over here, Source Control. If you click on it, you'll see these two options. Okay, and then just click on Publish to GitHub. Just click on that. Okay, if you don't see this, you should see something like Login to GitHub, and then you can just log in, and then you should see something like this. So just click on Publish to GitHub. I'm just going to call this Hosting tutorial bot or something like that and then make sure to click on private repository because uh, we don't want people to look in our tokens and our private stuff so let's just put it into private repository okay just make it private and then just remove oh before that we're actually gonna create a git ignore file so in your my main directory just create a file called dot git ignore okay and then you're just gonna write node modules in here Okay, just save this and then uh, we will repeat these steps again. So we're just gonna say hosting tutorial bot, click on private repository, and then um, it will. Okay, once it's published, um, you should go inside your account and then you should see the changes. So let's just wait for it to publish all these files. Um. Okay, so it is published. So let me just click open on GitHub. So you can actually see the uh, repository in here. So this is the repository. Um, Yeah. Okay, so if you watched my previous video on how to host a Discord bot, you should know that you should have a proc file inside your main directory. So now I'm going to teach you guys how to um, use and publish it to GitHub. Means add and save, uh, make new changes into GitHub. So you don't need to go here and add file, you don't need to do this, you can just do it within VS Code itself. So just create a file, so I'm just going to test this out, Pro C file. Okay, just make it worker, make sure there is no spaces in here, then only a space after this, and then just make your main file, which is source slash index.js, okay? If you don't have a source folder, just make it, um, just make it known index.js, okay? I'll uh, just make it your main file. So in my case, um, I already listed my main file in package.json. So basically, normally when you start your bot, the command that you run, normally I run node dot, you can just pass in this command, just pass this command inside the worker. So you can just do this, okay? And then, um, let's just save this. Okay, as you can see, there's one changes. So to publish these changes, just simply click on the plus sign over here. And then you see stage changes, okay. And then you can type in the message, okay. So let's just say uh add added pro C file. Okay, once you type that, just do control enter, control enter, and then it will publish the uh, it will commit it first. Okay, lastly, you just click on these three buttons, and you're just gonna click on push, and it's gonna push the changes. Okay, so let's just wait for it to push. Okay, so once it's pushed, if I refresh this, I should see the proc file. As you can see here, the proc file is down here. So it's very simple. Let me just repeat. If you see it changes, just click on the add and then go in here, type in your message and then do CTRL enter, whatever it says away in here. And then just click on these three buttons and then just click on push. And then you should push your new changes. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to actually get into the tutorial. 
so in here uh, I have the Heroku so just create a account just go to heroku.com and create a account as you see something like this okay so just click on create new app okay I'm just gonna name this hosting tutorial discord okay this must be a unique name because um, it's not like scoped to an account or anything so um, yeah get a name and then just create an app okay so once you're in here just go to settings and then we're gonna add a few node uh, a few build packs so the first build pack I wanna add is node.js as usual and then if your bot is using FFM pack or using like, any any type of uh, voice channel playing stuff okay make sure to add this um, FFM pack so just I'll link this down in the description just go to this and then I'll just click on code just copy this dot uh, git extend okay and then just paste it in here and just save changes okay so once you're done with this just click on deploy and then there's a few options to um, deploy so just click on github if you haven't logged in to your github already make sure you just log in into it um, it's very easy to log in just click on search um let me just do this hosting and then just click on search again okay hosting tutorial bot so my my uh, repo is hosting tutorial bot that's why i'm just gonna choose hosting tutorial bot just click on connect um okay and then what this does is enable automatic deploys is every time when you make a push to the github when the github uh has changes it's going to automatically restart the bot if you don't want this and you want to manually restart it you don't need to enable this but i highly recommend you to enable this just click on that and then just click on deploy branch okay and then it will show the logs so i'll skip the video until uh, when the logs are all done Okay, as you can see here, all of these four has received a tick. So this would normally take like one to three minutes, I think. Yeah. Okay, so once you're done with this, head on into resources and then just refresh the page. Okay, and then you should see a proxy file, I mean worker, and you see note dot, which is specified in your worker file. Okay, then just, um, turn that on just click on here and turn that on if you see a web option just turn that off okay and then just click on more and then we can actually view the logs so this is basically the console but you can't really interact with this so let's just look at this so currently the bot is currently off okay now it's online because it's um, hosted in here so you can see here Y ping if I do Y ping it will actually respond to because it's on the host okay so now I'm just gonna show if I do Y reply okay it's gonna say no you okay sure okay and then um if I do if I change the text over here if I change the text to um subscribe to recon Alex so this is a um example that if you want to change something in your file so what should you do to make the changes so let's say you want to make it change it to subscribe to recon alex or any part of the code you just uh, if i save the file okay and if i run y reply it wouldn't change the text it's just gonna say no you because it is hosted currently on heroku with the previous files so to change this just click on there and then just click um the add the plus sign okay as you can see it changed to stage changes 
okay and then just click and I'm just gonna name this I'm just gonna say that um changed you can put it anything you want I'm just gonna do changed uh, reply content or something like that and then control enter and it will commit it okay so as I say you need to push the changes so you can commit like a hundred commits and then you can push it all at once so just click on push to push the changes Um, let's just wait for it to push and then it should automatically restart in the um, hosting service so let me just refresh the page in here okay for some reason it isn't but I think it's a delay um, issue okay it's automatic deploy uh, let me see if it's building yeah as you can see here it's actually building the new file so let me just view the build progress and I will skip when it's done Okay, as you can see here, the build is actually done. Okay, and then we can just see that the bot is going back online. As you can see here, the build succeeded, and it's gonna restart the bot automatically. And then, um, when we do Y reply, it should reply with subscribe to Recon Alex. So let's just see. If I do Y reply, you say subscribe to Recon Alex. So I'll just repeat this once again. If you want to make a change, just click on this icon, okay, and then just add, click on the plus symbol, make a comment message, and then control enter, and then just click on three, three buttons, and then click on push. That's all you need to do to make changes. So yeah, that should conclude today's video. If you face any errors with this tutorial, make sure to join the Discord. Uh, links will be in the description. Uh, make sure to subscribe. We really help the channel out. Leave a like for the algorithm. Um, yeah, see you again in the next video. Bye.